A transit gateway is a network transit hub that you can use to interconnect your virtual private cloud or VPC and on-premise networks. So Transit Gateway leverages AWS Resource Manager. It operates as a virtual router at the regional level. You can attach up to 5,000 VPCs to each gateway. And uh, for each uh, connection you're making to each VPC, it's going to spin up an ENI. That's how it's going to do that VPC to Transit Gateway communication. I think that's kind of important because that could factor into costs or hitting particular limitations if you um, are restricted on the amount of ENIs you have in your VPC. Each attachment can handle up to 50 gigabits per second of traffic. You can attach your AWS VPN connections to a transit gateway. You can attach direct connect connections to a transit gateway. You can attach third-party virtual appliances via tr transit gateway attachments. And this can be a source and destination for packets, so it's bi-directional. You can peer connections with other transit gateways. You can do a lot with transit gateways. And I do have a diagram. It's in the next slide. I could not fit it on this slide here uh, at all, but I always want to point out third-party virtual appliances. We talk about these when we talk about um, gateway load balancer. The idea is that you have, let's say, a virtual machine or it runs some kind of um, a security security service and all your traffic passes through it to you know filter out traffic or do whatever, kind of monitoring or detection. So um, the point is that Transit Gateway can serve that as well, but you can also use gateway load balancer um, in different scenarios. But here is the diagram. I could not be bothered to make my own. I grabbed this again from the documentation as it seemed to cover all the cases. But the idea is that imagine you have Transit Gateway here and you're able to connect um, multiple VPCs so that they can talk to each other. The great advantage is that it's a hub and spoke model. So you can just connect as much as you want and they can um, uh, talk through there. You can obviously connect AWS Direct Connect as it's showing there. You can use a transit gateway peering to um, uh, peer to another transit gateway. So you can connect uh, a bunch of VPCs between two transit gateways. You can see that it's going to this virtual appliance here. So that's a, a possible connection. You'd use that, um, it doesn't show it here, but there's that uh, transit gateway uh, um, attachment, which would be intermediate. And then they're kind of representing the uh, the Cloud WAN, right? Because we said that Cloud WAN can uh, get into there, or you bring your, uh, you can connect your on-premise network through a VPC to your Transit Gateway. So a lot going on there. But my point is, is that Transit Gateway is a lot more flexible than your standard peering. Um, but yeah, you have VPCs, then you have your VPC peering, then you have Transit Gateway, and then you have VPC Lattice, which is more specialized. So you can see that there are a lot of cloud services that do similar things. You just got to choose what's going to work for you. Okay.